It's... Earlier in your testimony, Miss Meanie, you made the following statement. And like, Miss Morgan was the only one in the channeling chamber, you know? It's true that at the time, both me, myself, and Miss Hart were not there. We had gone to call the police. So, so? Like, what does that have anything to do with, like, with anything? It's very simple. Miss Meanie, how did you know that fact? H how I concede that Miss Faye was the only person in the channeling chamber. However, someone who was asleep in the side room could not have known that. Which means, Miss Meanie, you did in fact go to the channeling chamber. However, you didn't go there by the way of the winding way. Ah! But, but look at the manor guide map. If one were to go between the side room and the channeling chamber, one would have to use the winding way. Yes, that's right, your honor. Which is why, which is why I asked this very important question. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Um, er, Miss Meanie, please answer the question. Don't ask the question off of baseless assumption, if you please. Well, I suppose since you put it on the table, Mr. Phoenix Wright, you might as well answer the question for us. Where was the witness at the time of the murder? Now's your chance, Phoenix. Yeah. The only person who could have killed Dr. Gray was Eeny Meeny. And now is your time to prove it. Well then, Mr. Wright, let's hear your answer. Where was the witness at the, the murder took place? Right here. Miss Meany was here, of course. What? But, but that's the channeling chamber. Isn't that the crime scene? That's right. Miss Meany was the, at the cri scene of the crime. Order, order, order. That's why that is. Ah, uh, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What have you lost your mind? Yesterday's testimony of the, only the victim and the defendant were in the channeling chamber when the channeling started. Yes, yes, that is correct. Please explain yourself, Mr. Wright. Simple, Miss Eeny Meeny was hiding at the scene of the crime. I... I was hiding? Where, like, where was I hiding? Here, of course. Behind the folding screen? Ah! Don't make me say it again. Recall yesterday's testimony. Alright, no way anyone hang out behind the folding screen. See you, stupid jerk! Quit being so quick to pin me on me, you slime ball! No, 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 Miss Meanie! One so young shouldn't be saying, Shut up, Gramps! As if you know how old I am. I'm sorry. Looks like the pipe's about to burst. Guess I should help it along. The witness is hiding behind the folding screen with the help of this. Miss Meany, how were you able to hide at the scene of the crime is very simple. You were hiding inside this box. Ah! Th th that tiny box, no person could fit in that. Sorry, but your theory has already been disproven. Lotta disproved you when she was hiding from it. Um. But that clothing box was in the side room, right? Which means it has nothing to do with this murder at all. That, that's right! I was sleeping there, so I should know! That clothing box was there in the side room the whole time. Hmm, Mr. Wright. Do you think you can prove that where the clothing box was at the scene of the crime? Hmm, yes I can. And now, I present the piece of evidence. This clothing box was at the scene of the crime when the murder took place. Take a look at this clothing box. You're so stupid. As if there's any sort of evidence in that old thing. This? What on earth? Urgh. I don't have time for you to sit there surprised. Hurry up and say it already. There's a hole. About eight inches off the ground. Hmm. Hmm. A hole about eight inches off the ground. Where have I heard that before? The folding screen. It has a hole at the same height. That's right. I hope this has opened your eyes to what happened. At the time of the shooting, the clothing box was sitting behind the folding screen. 
which is why the bullet from the pistol hit both the box and the folding screen. It went through the screen and then into the box. <laughs> Miss Meanie, you were hiding behind the folding screen, waiting for your chance. Yes, for your chance to kill Dr. Gray. Ah! Order! Order! So what are you you're saying? But then, Mr. Phoenix Wright, what about this picture? Are you saying that the person in this photo is Miss Eeny Meeny? That is exactly what I am saying! Miss Eeny Meeny! You were holding it, hiding inside this clothing box all along. And you wore a medium's costume in the masquerade of Maya Fey. To, to masquerade as Maya Fey? She had planned it from the very beginning. So she would kill Dr. Gray and pin the blame on my client. No! It's to stop! I can't stand to listen to this anymore, this foolishness. If that's the case, Mr. Phoenix Wright, then I have a proposition. This whole idea that the witness moved the clothing box to the crime scene, pretended to be the defendant, killed the victim, and then fled the crime scene? It's not possible for one person to do by yourself. Hmm. You just cornered someone else, Francisca. It really is impossible. For one person to do it, all the preparations, that is. Ow! Need I remind you, the foolishness received no mercy. Wait! Miss Von Karma, you said it was not possible for one person, correct? What? You can't be serious! <sighs> <sighs> Miss Meanie! You had an accomplice! Hmm. Ugh, this person! If it wasn't someone from the Korean village, you couldn't have gotten the costume. And if it wasn't someone from the Fey household, you wouldn't have that box to use. Morgan Fey? Isn't that the wonderful lady witness we had earlier? What do you have to say about this, Miss Meanie? Uh, uh, you shot Dr. Gray with your own two hands. Do you deny it? I think this is what really happened. The murderer had planted herself at the scene of the crime long beforehand. Dressed in a medium's costume and wearing a wig, she pretended to be the defendant. And then, the channeling started. The murderer crept silently towards the other two, both of whom had their eyes closed. First, she drugged Maya with a strong sleeping agent. Then, she stabbed Dr. Gray with a knife. Next, she hid my client inside the clothing box. She did that so she could take Maya's place and frame her for the crime. But that's when something unexpected happened. Unexpected? Yes. Bang. Dr. Gray was actually not yet dead. With the last of his strength, he fired a shot at his attacker. And that is why the hole is on the folding screen so low to the ground. The murderer then took the gun from Dr. Gray and... After that, you and the other lady thought to break through into the room? Yes, the gunshot is certainly something you wouldn't expect to hear. Which is why, upon hearing the shots, we forced our way into the channeling chamber. Miss Meanie, she immediately covered her own costume with blood. And pretended to be Maya Fey. But, but, that sort of deception would have been easy to see through. Which is precisely why Miss Morgan Fey chased us out. Please leave this area to me. Go quickly and inform the police. Hurry before there are more victims here. What is one supposed to say? This is the real truth behind this murder. Ha! <laughs> who, who was that laughing at a time like this? Ah! Oh, you simple-minded fools. I'm sorry, are you still by chance evolving? Well, what is this? Is it this time? Mr. Von Karma! Surely! Of course it was me. Do you really think someone of Von Karma blood would lose 
do to something this petty? What in the world? Mr. Phoenix writes, your argument is flawed in one very crucial area. And, that is... If this witness is the real murderer, why would she go through all this trouble? Huh? Working together with a medium, pretending to be one putting on this whole act? What reason would she have to be do such foolish things? Eh? Well, that's, uh... Yeah, so, right. That's exactly what I was gonna say. Oh, and one other thing. Why would Miss Eenie Meenie want to kill Dr. Gray? Where is her motive? Yeah! That's exactly what I wanted to say, too! Yeah, motive! I don't have a motive! A motive? That's... I can't say she has no motive here. I have to think of a motive. Now, what reason would you want Dr. Gray dead? The reason you want Dr. Gray dead? Ha! Just as I thought. You bore me with your silly answers, Phoenix Wright. Just great. Now even she is calling me by my full name. You think I did this for, to get revenge for my dead sister? Yes! Because through that accident, you suffered a lot of hurt and pain yourself. Don't be stupid. No one has proved that Dr. Gray drugged my sister, right? And you want to say I wanted to take revenge based on nothing? What do you mean by that? Senile stupid gramps. I'm like going to explain, so like, please listen, okay? It's been over half a year since I was discharged from the hospital. If I like wanted revenge, then like, I would have, wouldn't have waited this long. Um, and sides like the guy that thought of the spirit thing was like Dr. Gray. It was like to a total coincidence. He asked me about it, you know. She, she's back to her airhead self. However, you see, ow. Pathetic, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You failed to support your own theory. What are you talking about? It's very solid. It's not my fault you're a, you're a bitch and the judge is stupid. I think we have our answer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What Miss Meanie has stated is very true. The revenge plan is overly complicated and she has no motive in the first place. What are you talking about? I solved everything. Mmm. Furthermore, there is no reason for Miss Mayaga and Faye to cooperate with this plan. Ugh. You don't even have any truly decisive piece of evidence to demonstrate your point. What are you talking about? I gave, like, tons of evidence! Tsk, tsk, tsk. So many faults, Mr. Phoenix Wright. You should have learned your place. You guys are going to kill me. Well, what happened? I thought I had her for sure. And I did. <laughs> See, like, that's what I, like, told you. I'm going to serve you a slice of humble pie. Very well. I now conclude the cross-examination of Miss Eeny Meeny. Your Honor, please allow the defense one more minute. All right. You can't lose here. Have faith in yourself, Phoenix. My, yes, it does sound like a ridiculous, messed up plan for a murder. But you know, regardless, that girl trained for this crime. Really? Listen, Phoenix. Everything happens for a reason. There is a reason for why she had to kill Dr. Gray. And there's also a reason she had no choice but to kill him in this fashion. Time is up, Mr. Wright. Your final answer, please. If you want to say that you can prove Miss Me had a motive, then why did she kill the victim this way? Can you provide a reason? Yes, I can. I'm not totally confident here, but I know that I must press on no matter what. That's right, Phoenix. Only you can do this now. I will show and substantiate the fact that Miss Meanie had a motive. Ha ha ha! Too bad. You're too late. My cross-examination has already ended, after all. Eek! Interesting. I'll let you have your chance, Mr. Phoenix Wright. What?! What? You're supposed to be on my side! I! A Von Kara only cares about a perfect win! As long as you have the will to fight, I will knock you down, Mr. Phoenix Wright! And I don't care if you are my witness, so help me, I will blow you out of my way! No way! Very well! 
The court will take five minute recess, and we'll continue with the cross examination after we reconvene. Hey, wait a second here. Whew, this was a long one. To be continued. But we're gonna go ahead and continue now. Because I like to get these court sessions out of the way in one go if possible. Plus, the next one's not too long.